I would you call like very professionally footage that are not like like from Sony or, or any other of these cameras that are very professional although a Canon 90 d the professional cameras doesn't have any lock that you can use to have high dynamic range to do to do any kind of color grading that you want to know all right this is a second not like a second part this is just an update to, to how you can collaborate non-lock footage so this is a new way that I've really discovered through just working out uh, since you guys know that I've been doing a lot of videos with my Canon 200D and recently just upgraded to a Sony so I'm gonna, I'll be using a Sony S7 III so that is the camera that I'll be using now so I just want to show you guys so that you can also just game up your level when it comes to collaborative for nine log footage so there are a couple of ways that you guys will know that i'm gonna show you today the first one is the easy way and the lazy way if you don't have time to waste on editing collaborating tweaky and there the easy way that you're gonna have to do that way is you simply need to apply a light if you're using cameras that do not have log footage so i've created a, a preset that you can use and it's gonna give you the best out of the camera so if you don't have time for it i'm not saying you should go out and buy my preset just just a way of saying if you don't have time if you have a lot of stuff that you edit if you don't want to spend time on editing and all that what i'm gonna do now uh I'm gonna start recording my screen just to show you guys all right so i have three footage that we're going to collaborate today and i hope you guys just pay attention to all the details that i'm going to show you today all right this is the first one we're going to start with this video was shot on my canon 200d so i'm just gonna reset everything and so go on my website and you're gonna download this uh note tree that i have here if you don't have time to just um, go on the website, you can just screenshot this and you're going to use it. So this is just a way that uh, I do my grading whenever I'm, do, I'm using analog footage. So this is the lazy way that you're going to do. All right, on my website, I have a light that I've created for you guys just go and buy it. And it's, all, it's on discount, so you can just go and grab it. So what you're going to do now, as you click on on, on this preset, you can already see the kind of grading is giving you guys you don't have to waste time on editing or doing color grading all that and what you're gonna do now this is the lazy way you're just gonna go uh maybe just trying to game up a little bit bring out the exposure and also the lift and also maybe try to fix the skin tone a little bit you can fix that on the u and saturation you're just gonna click there and then you're gonna bring it down a little bit and boom there you go you have your grading and you didn't you did not waste time doing this kind of grading so if you really want to learn you also want to increase your knowledge i'm not saying it is bad to use like you can use uh sometimes most of my videos you see on my instagram uh i've been using this light so it really helped me just to speed up my workflow all right i'm just gonna reset everything and we're gonna do from scratch so this is one of the best way that i've come across how you can actually collect non-log footage so what you're gonna do now and just gonna bring down the i have my curves so i feel like the curves as more precise way of bringing down the shadows and the contrast and everything so once you just start bringing down your um your curves and i'm just gonna maybe do a s curve just bring out our exposure a little bit maybe um, i'm just i'm also checking out my parade just to see everything that i'm doing there maybe just trying to bring out the, uh, the gain and also the lift a little bit so this is what we have this is before and after before and after all right so before we you get into that you also need just to pay attention to the to your parade and to see if everything is all right if uh you need to do any color grading so if you see the csc uh, the CC, uh, it's color correction. So this is where you're going to do a little bit of color correction. And if you see things are too bluish, uh, greenish and all that, so you're just going to come here and try to fix a little bit of that by just checking out your parade and see if you're doing it correctly. Just trying to bring a little bit of warm in there. I'm just also checking out to see if everything is all right okay so oh god my bad guys i've been doing this on the curves so i'm just gonna reset that and then we're gonna come right here let me see and 
gonna come here I'm just gonna try to adjust it a little bit then I'm gonna bring down this my lift okay and before and after before and after all right i'm just gonna bring this down okay so now after you're done with uh doing your exposure and contrast so what you're gonna do now you're gonna go to the uh saturation you're gonna add a little bit of saturation let's go maybe from 50 to 60. 50 to 60 there you go i think it's a bit too much maybe 55 and there we go and I have my UN saturation. The UN saturation can really help you when you have like uh, trees and everything around you that you wanna maybe try to just bring contrast also to separate your your your, your subject with the background. So if I see there's a little bit of green in the trees here, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the UN saturation. I'm gonna try and click somewhere there. If I begin to bring this down, you see that I'm trying just to bring a little bit of green in the trees right there bring it up bring it down so i can also come to the u and saturation here i'm just gonna click there it's gonna bring it down bring it up bring it down it just depends on the kind of look that you have in mind and also yeah the boss it's just whenever i want to add uh, more saturation to my grading maybe i can just go about 10 and you see we have that um uh the color just pop up so this is the U uh, saturation, and then this is why I do most of my color grading. You can see I have color grading one and color grading two. So on the color grading one, I'm using uh, the layer mixer. So the layer mixer really helps you to separate the uh, skin tone and everything around you, just so that you can just have, uh, you can be able to just do whatever you want. So I'm gonna go on the skin tone. What I'm gonna do on the skin tone, I'm just gonna go color, and then I'm gonna go to preset. And I'm gonna go to red. So once we have that, we're only gonna select uh, the, the skin tone. So I'm gonna try to see if I have a good skin tone. Uh, I'm just gonna go to um, to my to my vetoscope and just to see that everything is alright. I'm gonna come and maybe just select a part of this. And I can see we almost everything is alright. If you have to, you can just maybe bring it a little bit. Then you're gonna bring everything down and there you go so the reason why i prefer using uh the layer mix is that uh if i have my my skin tone selected i can actually just come up here and then maybe try to a little bit of greenish in the background you can see that whenever i'm heading down here it doesn't affect the skin tone at all so this is just one of the best way you can just do this and you can see the highs are also just trying to have that greenish in there so i'm just gonna reset this and it just depends on the uh on the look that you have in mind but i'm just gonna let me just try out a little bit of um let me see what i can do here it's a little bit of bluish warm red see Okay, let's see before after before after all right so the other thing i want to show you guys is that uh we, we're talking about uh color grading on the second note this is my parallel note this is my parallel note so what you're gonna do over here is that uh the difference with this one this one actually breaks down every layer of of your subject and here it's just gonna be a mix in between everything that you're gonna do so right here i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna go to the lock and I'm going to add a little bit of warming. I'm just going to bring it up like somewhere here. Yeah? And then if I go to the range, up, down, up, then you see what it's doing. I'm going to bring it somewhere here. Yeah? Maybe add a little bit of greenish in there. Warm. All right, there we go. Before and after, before and after. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go back to the, um, to the color wheel. On the game, I'm gonna also bring it down like somewhere. All right, so this is what we can see before and after, before and after. All right, 
and then on this note what i'm gonna try to, to do here i'm gonna try to add a little bit of focus into my frame so i'm gonna click right here i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna add uh a outside note so what 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 i do with the outside note is that if i come and sell it like i want to really just to have my focus right here i'm also gonna bring it up the explosion at 12 maybe just a little bit and i'm also gonna soft out the edges so the outside note is that it's gonna do the opposite of me brightening up the everything so if i bring down you can see we get, we're getting a little bit of vignette around here all right so this is the before and after before and after and then here we have our curves our sharpness i'm gonna come right here I'm gonna add a little bit of sharpness in there add some of foam grain you can just maybe come here i'm gonna just tell foam grain i'm gonna add a little bit into that I'm gonna zoom in there Increase the textures, the size. Alright, and we're good to go. So guys, this is one of the best way you can really try just to color grade your uh your uh racer and a footage if you don't have any luck. And just go and screenshot this is gonna help you just to see where you're gonna start. And I hope you guys have really understand the reason why I have my curves at the back of everything is that. I don't want to have my footage really compressed by the by the contrast and the exposure so i can really do everything it's like applying the light instead of applying the light in front you can have it at the back so that the dynamic range and everything doesn't get affected by the contrast and everything that you're going to have on your light so if i were to um, open up all my clips right here i'm just gonna and uh, display notes and i'm gonna come right here and i'm gonna apply apply there you go and I can just come on this note uh, right here. I'm just going to go to my log. Uh, it's down here. If maybe I have to bring it to the bluish color right about here. Uh, you can see you can do so much with all this. It's just up to you and how you're going to color grade your footage and all that. You, you can also come here and then we're going to apply it right here and here yeah, it's so dark so what you need to do you need to check out your parade and see if the exposure is everything correct so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna reset my curves i'm gonna reset it down and we have everything back i'm gonna try to see before and after before and after i'm gonna go to the curves and i'm gonna bring it up a bit and bring it down just right here about there and now we're gonna go to the uh, log wheel. We're gonna bring it up. Now go to the range. There we go. And this was quick. So guys, as you can see by just tweaking here and there, you can see I'm not getting a lot of issues with the dynamic range. I'm not losing any contrast. So this is just one of the best way you can color grade your Ray 79, which is non-log footage. And if you don't wanna waste time doing this way, uh, which is very precise and you can just maybe save this as store image that you're gonna apply in all other footage So if you don't want to waste time, you can also go and support me by just buying my latest $10 Which is really gonna help me. It's not too much. If you want to buy if you don't want to buy it's up to you guys And I hope you enjoyed this video Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye